it's amazing. Mm -hmm. See, God tells Bruce, you've had my powers for a little over a week, and what have you done with it? What's amazing about that is that the church has had the power of the Holy Spirit for over 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. And what have we done with it? <clears throat> what have we done with it? Mm -hmm. And I'm sad to say sometimes the church hasn't done very good. But we're here to change that. That's right. We can change that. And at Pentecost, the church was not only born, but it was empowered to be the body of Christ. And empowered to carry on God's work, which, of course, is the theme of the book of Acts. And I want to remind us that we still have the power today. We still have the same Holy Spirit. And I must ask you, what are you doing with the power of the Spirit that God has given you? What are you doing with it? The church was born to be empowered. I want to Think about the positive things that we are called to do. And yesterday, there was a celebration for Harvey Milk. This week, if you're on our Yahoo groups list, I sent out a history piece on Harvey Milk and the, the speech that he gave. And today, I want to talk about Harvey Milk for a minute. Um, two days before he was elected, he had got this phone call from a young man. And... The young man wanted to just give him thanks for being able to stand up and, and, incur, and, and the young man talked about getting more people elected that were, as Harvey, willing to stand up because we need that hope for a better tomorrow. Amen. I know that we can't live without hope. So let me share with you Harvey Milk and the young gay people in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and Richmond, Minnesota, who are coming out and hear Anita Bryant on television and her story. The only thing they have to look forward to is hope. And you've got to give them hope. Hope for a better world. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope for a better place to come if the pressure is at home are too great. Hope that will be, that hope is all that some people have. Hope that all will be all right. Harvey Milk, The Hope Speech, March 10th, 1978. Words that are still relevant today. I believe, my friends, that God's Spirit anointed Harvey Milk and he knew he could not live in silence. He knew that a day had come. Even in 1978, when the gay rights movement was what I call adolescent. You know, you have those moments in your life. When you remember <coughs> where you were, when something incredible happened. And I remember being a young college student at Sacramento State and having conversations with other people when Harvey Milk got elected because we thought how incredible this is the possibilities of our lives being able to change and yet little did we know at the time that it would still take over 30 years to make progress and we're still fighting amen? amen we are still fighting the amazing thing is that we don't have to fight the good fight of faith alone right. Right. we still have the negative hateful people in this world mm -hmm. and if you don't know who Anita Bryant was well she was one of those kinds of people that bashed the gay community and matter of fact 
We made a difference by boycotting orange juice at the time. If you were, if you're old enough to remember, you didn't buy Florida orange juice. You bought orange juice that came from somewhere else, because that's where she was promoting her hatefulness. <coughs> we can make a difference. Amen. We made a difference in 1978, and we can make a difference in 2010. Amen. If we're willing to let the yes. Spirit yes. of God come upon us, and 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 together uh, let the Spirit uh, change us, <coughs> I can imagine, my friends, I can imagine that if we could come together in this place and allow the Holy <coughs> Spirit that has been promised, what will happen? It will show up. Things will happen. Our, our vagueness and our complacency will be gone. Our fear and our self-loathing, washed away, gone. Yeah. And the effect of the, the Pentecost spirit will change us. Yeah. And then, when we look back on the spirit of Pentecost, it may not have <coughs> been a new birth, but a rebirth. Not a new covenant, but a renewed covenant that would change the hearts and the minds of the disciples and renew the face of the earth. This is good news for us in the 21st century. Amen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the same Spirit of God that warmed the hearts of those disciples that <coughs> gathered on the road to Emmaus and inspired the tongues of those that gathered in Jerusalem that day is looking to inspire rebirth in us. The same spirit that led Harvey Milk to envision a world where it wouldn't matter if someone was gay, if they happened to serve. The same spirit that led, that led Dan Cho to stand up against don't ask, don't tell. The same spirit that called me so many years ago to leave a life of running from God, to put down the drugs, and the drinking, the same spirit, my friends, that called Valley Ministries into existence yeah. is with us today. Yeah. The same spirit.